ए हाय हेलो वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो दिस संपत्ति वाचिंग संपत्ति सैमफेक्स यूट्यूब चैनल बैक विद न्यू वीडियो गैस दिस शामी मीरा नेक्स्ट आदर पोको एफ द आदर रेडमी के फोर्टी कस्टम रोम रोस बैक विद अनदर कस्टम रोम हियर इफ गोइंग टू माय डिवाइस शामी हाइपर रोस ईएमएम ओएस वन पॉइंट Model number base band kernel user is 4.19.273 VK X kernel has been used here. This is all the information. This is typical home screen. This is quick setting toggles. There is edit section. Add automatic brightness sensor lock screen location. Or uh, Dolby Atmos. FTP is there. Sync. There is no NFC. Maybe in the NFC variant it will be available. Let me disable these things. Sync should be there. Anyhow. And vibration anyhow this are the quick settings toggles if you want to add the smart home section you can add it from here this is the typical home screen what we can get if I press and hold here you get widgets here again you can select them based on the categories you can download recommended based upon internet speed it will get downloaded and wallpapers I'll show you within a while and dialer here you get a proper MIUI dialer and also direct video call support is there and call recording features are also there you can select them other options you can check out on the screen right now and this is the settings panel very smooth responsive here as you can see very much smooth here mmetma is also help to make this rom here starting with additional settings here you get enterprise mode and accounts and sync google sync is already done here no need to enable that second space memory extension up to 6 GB is available floating windows options are given or sidebar you can enable that always show option is also available here floating windows that's how it is and clear speaker option is there for 30 seconds it will play one handed mode is also available that's how it is and quick pull feature you can actually turn this on and select the number of apps you want or action you want to do that that's not available then you can use gesture shortcuts also you can plenty of uh, shortcuts you can assign them and utilize it reasons again you get plenty here as you can see language and input again if I go into languages there are uh, limited uh, languages you can check out here this all the languages supported for this particular ROM we'll go into screen time this is nothing but the digital well-being how it looks for week and day here app settings you get default apps from here you can actually manage apps dual apps you can do that permissions and app lock is also pre-installed in this particular one battery settings again you get four different modes here battery checkup you get these also options optimize you can manually battery protection temperature you can check out normal regular charging and optimized charging like what we see in the ios devices it's kind of same here privacy protection again you get some of the reason specific options here safety and emergency it's getting closed for some reason yeah it's getting closed anyhow we'll go into settings again uh, fingerprint face unlock are working fine here let me show you the fingerprint unlock first yeah i need to turn this on first the volume as you can see this is the notification what you can see on the uh, dynamic island anyhow let's see the fingerprint unlock speeds with sound here and the face unlock again it's quite fast and accurate here and if i go into settings sound and touch again you get all the necessary options here sound effects you get it dolby atmos is pre installed here show me sound again you can custom the equalizer or choose some of the places harman cardon support is there here do not disturb everything is remains same here display and brightness again dark theme which is in pitch black condition they saw the quick settings toggles look like in the dark theme screen brightness smooth and let me disable that smooth and transitions are available here if i disable automatic brightness you will get sunlight mode here advanced textures color screen again if you want to make it saturated and make it warm that you can do here you can change it refresh it uh, you get 60 90 120 or default recommended a image engine you get three options here home skin again there are some customization not that much it's quite uh, simple here 
as you can see animation speed you can adjust and recent app just horizontal or vertical you won't get any ios kind of style this is how it is you can check out and search bar provider is not given anyhow this is how this and notification status bar you get again status bar icons only these things if you want to disable that you can do that center style smart devices as i said before if you want to add them you can add actually hide notch and notch in individual apps for certain app if it is not playing in full screen you can always enable show notch that's how it is wallpapers and customization again you get that lock screen customizations that's present here just customize this and detecting layers by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon guys and if you like the video give it a like now let's turn on the always on display let's check how it actually works the lock screen anyhow this is how it looks like always on display again you get options here you can keep it for 10 seconds always is my recommendation but it will drain the battery let's check how it looks oh it is too quick oh let's check always on display must wake up here I kept always this is the lock screen once I look the screen swipe to unlock anyhow it was a pattern always on display for some reason it's not working let's check at least no it should work but that's how it is and fonts effects those things remain same here coming to wallpapers again yeah wallpapers you get plenty of wallpapers here but these will never get downloaded you need to manually download this and these things you can adjust as a wallpaper this how other themes and settings you can do that more connectivity options you get dns airplane more portable arts but cast printing wireless display chromebook quick share options are given here and this how it looks like it's really smooth responsive now coming to some apps here pre-installed like dialer i already shown you the camera is proper like i integrated here you can check out in the video mode you get 4k uh, 30 only in the photo mode you get all this uh, necessary options as you can see on the screen the more you get all these options you need to download them once it get downloaded you can utilize the camera application if you want to use any gcam ports that is also possible here and this via browser is pre-installed pulsar plus video player is pre-installed here now calculator is again me calculator and hyper is calculator sorry the other application is updated here and this security application it's not updated it's still on me ui side uh, it should update to HyperOS security application. You can manually download and uh, replace that. And we'll see some results in the gallery before seeing that, verifying data. Anyhow, got it. You can actually uh, make some settings here. As you can see, you can enable or disable some of the things. Like, for example, for this particular, you can get recognized text. Recognized table is not implemented here. Anyhow, this is the score what I got 979 single score 2560 multi score 6.2.2 version I am using Geekbench and Fusion and Linux 4.19.273 VKX kernel has been used and to benchmark is 8,20,039 temperature raise was 3 degrees Celsius 6 percentage of battery has been dropped that's how the and to benchmark results and the version I used was 10.2.4 these are the read write speed test with graphical and this is numerical and this is the uh, CTS profile match and basic integrity and device is certified hence you can use all the payment application that's going to work fine no need to worry about that and this is the drm information what i got level one certified no need to worry watching what is application this is airtel fiber connection speeds what i got and this is turbo charging and you can also get like this notification as you can see and you can also see charging rapidly this is the particular rom let's see bgm how it handle this particular You also get the gaming mode here you can actually increase the brightness and saturation you can record the video here if best count you can see balance mode it is currently if i press yeah will make into performance mode 
and clear memory options are also given here and do not disturb screenshot and voice changer options are also given here let me check out settings graphics you get smooth plus extreme here this is how the volume panel looks like and this is how the quick settings toggles looks once playing the game let's check how it actually handles here oh that was very close anyhow the experience is good even though if it is a 60 fps the gaming experience is fine here counter attacks i haven't felt any lag just i was a shot okay the gaming experience is fine here uh, but it is showing 60 more than 60 here fs as you can see but it is only up to extreme only no extreme plus options here Okay, that's how the gaming experience, the UI is smooth, responsive here, but battery life is not that great in this particular ROM guys that I want to show you here, as you can see, it's a little bit uh, draining side, even if I am using day to day task and all, it's a little bit draining compared to other versions of HyperOS, you can decide between them and if you want very good performance also, there are some other HyperOS builds available for me, Linux like server. Poco F3 guys if you are still not joined the whatsapp group for this particular device join the whatsapp group guys it will be beneficial for you and if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom comment down in the comment section watch the video first watch the video then only you can comment down in the comment section guys we'll meet you with another interesting video guys this is Ampak signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now